Hey, 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 it's Cripsy K, and today we are making some armadillo eggs, some homemade, they're like jalapeno poppers, but they're wrapped up in, in no-name, brandless um, hamburger there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those, and since they're teeny tiny, I got itty bitty ones. These are the ones that grew in my garden, and every year I grow them, where's the camera at? Every year that I grow them, they never grow much bigger than this. So what I'm going to have to do, I'll show you how I prep these. Anyway, so there is cream cheese. I like the cream cheese chive flavor, cream cheese, but you can use whatever you want. I also have extra chives that I'm going to put in there. And I've got some bacon bits that are cooking on the stove right now. Mmm, homemade bacon bits. What we're going to do is we're going to dress these up, take out the seeds, do all that good stuff. And then we're going to... Fill this with some bacon bits and chives and that, and then wrap them in hamburger. And then we're gonna throw them in the oven. All right, now it's time to dress the jalapenos. I went ahead and mixed up the dressing and my bacon bits and my chives. Obviously, I don't need to tell you, use your own proportions. If you only have regular cream cheese, you can use ranch dressing seasoning. You can put whatever you want in that. You can flavor your cream cheese however you want. Some people use just blocks of cheddar. I go the extra mile and use cream cheese. What I'm going to do, since these are real small and they're going to be hard to hollow out, I'm going to take them, I'm going to take the tops off. This this one might not even make it. Here. I'm going to take, come on camera. Alright, so I'm going to take the tops off and then I'm going to cut them in half, clean them all out, fill each half, and then what I'll do is I'll put the two halves together and wrap them up in our hamburger stuff. All right, so now, after the painstaking process, it took 37 hours, 54 minutes, and 73 seconds. That's 55 minutes, and actually 13 seconds. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So, I finally got these all done. See how teeny tiny they are? I recommend using ones from the store. These were the ones that we had out of the garden. So, now I'm going to go through the painstaking process and put this filling in both halves and then eventually wrap that in hamburger so after that i'll show you guys what they look like when they're all done i gotta dress up the hamburger you'll know what i'm talking about when you see it. it's gonna have like eggs and um blah, 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 breadcrumbs and things like that so that's what's gonna go in that hamburger all right now that all that's dressed up you can see all my little baby teeny tiny armadillo eggs and i you guys didn't think i was not gonna make like real full-size ones. So I, I bought a handful. I got some backup jalapenos over there. But next, what we're going to do is we're going to do up our um, ba -ba -ba hamburger with an egg. You can see that egg wiggling down there at the bottom. And breadcrumbs. We're going to mix that all up. Breadcrumbs are going to help absorb some of the grease released by the hamburger. And the eggs just kind of bind everything together. If you've ever made like a meatloaf or meatballs, something like that, meatballs are back on my channel. Which, by the way, I need to update. There, there was a better meatball recipe that I found. I kind of want to erase that one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, we're going to do this like meatballs or, you know, whatever. You can, you know, eat the leftover dip that you make or whatever on something, tortillas or bread. I, I don't care what you do with it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to mix up the hamburger, make little thin patties, and wrap up these guys and get them in the oven. All right, and so what I did, I got them all wrapped up. You can see all the little teeny tiny ones, two of the big ones. There's only enough uh, hamburger for this much. What I find is really easy, this is the pan we made the uh, bacon bits in, by the way. What I find really easy is to coat your hands in a little bit of oil, which obviously there was some bacon grease left over, and it makes the, it makes the hamburger much easier to work with. Now, this is 35 minutes at 350. Pretty sure I put it up on the screen. So as you can see, all of these broke open. Hamburger's done fine. Anyway, the hamburger's cooked, but all of these broke open. A lot of recipes call for you to wrap these in bacon, and this is why. Also, I've seen some recipes use a southwestern blend in their cheese. That's absolutely fine. I just wanted to use like my favorite jalapeno popper flavor which is like cream cheese chive that kind of thing and I put the bacon bits on the inside 
because I didn't have enough to wrap a whole bunch of these. But yeah, two things. You can use the Southwest blend in your cheese and then you can also wrap them in bacon. Finally, I suppose, is when it's all done, like when it's all wrapped and you're about to put it in the oven, you can cover it in barbecue sauce. So if you really want to go the south southwestern route, you can also put the barbecue sauce. So you can go southwestern flavored cheese, barbecue sauce over the top, you know, wrap them in jalapenos, or sorry, wrap them in bacon, obviously. But yeah, I mean, they came out pretty good. Some of these are really nice. It's all the way cooked. The jalapenos aren't too soggy, too soft. And the ones that didn't break open, well, a couple of them didn't break open. But they all came out fairly well. I'm going to go ahead and call that. Maybe we revisit this one and try a different recipe. But in the meantime, you all have a great day. This is Krebsy K, and I'm getting out of here.